Guns for and welcome to project 84 of this course. So in this video, we're going to be building this um, book list project by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here you can see we have the book title, then the book author, then the published year right here. So, so if I just write like uh, next uh, level Java, JavaScript, and then the author will be like Hussein, the published year will be like, I don't know, like 2024. I have maybe and if I just click on this add book so here you can see it'll now add it to this database right here <laughs> it's not a database but it will now just add it right here okay if you just click on it a lot of times it'll now add it right here if you just refresh that all of the data is gone we're not going to be uh, attaching that to a local server and stuff if you want to you can but this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump around to our code editor and write our code so to do that first of all let me just create a folder given name of like 084 and then book um list project okay inside this folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be style.css and the third one will be just app.js for javascript so now let me just make that a bit bigger so we can just focus on our coding so the first thing i would do is i'll just write a doc time html now let me just change the um title of it to like book list app and now let's just link that to our css and also with our javascript now let me just hide this metadata from there right click on it open it with a line server and now we are good to go inside this body tag we are going to be using a section with a class of container inside this container we are going to be using a form with the id let me just remove this action from here with the id of book form okay so inside this form we are going to be using our div inside this div we are going to be using our label with the title with the four attribute of title okay so we are going to be writing like book title in here and underneath that now let's just write our input with the type of text and also the id will be title okay so that's that now let me just duplicate this on uh, diff for now so maybe like one and two times and now let's just change the value of it to like uh, book title then we have book author okay so now let me just change the title of it to like author as well and the id of author as well Okay, so that's then now let's just change uh, this title to like um published year and now let's just change the title to like year and also the four attribute will also be set to year and this time will be set to number okay so now let's just save that and underneath this div we are going to be using a button with the type of submit in it so now let me just write a submit button in here and now let's just give them a class of like button btn and here we are going to be writing like add book okay so book and that's that now underneath this uh, form right here we are going to be using our section with a class of table inside this section we are going to be using another section with a class of um with a class of table section and inside this table section we are going to be using our div so title now let's just duplicate that a few times change this one to like author and also this one to year okay so year and now let me just remove that so now if you just save that and this is how it looks like so now i'm going to zoom out a bit so that we can just see your code so the first thing we are doing that we have a section with a class of container then we have a form inside this and then we have a div so each div will have a label and its input right here so we give them like first of all we start from like book title then we have book author and then we have published year right here okay and then we have a button which will say submit <laughs> submit I just messed it up there and then we have a section with the class of table then we have another section like a nested section for this section we have a table section and then we have a title author and year so we are going to be rendering our data into uh, these divs right here so now let me just get into your css and now let's just tell this side a bit the first thing i will do is i'm going to write a padding of zero and also the margin of zero and box sizing will be totally equals to bore box and now let's just get our body and I'm gonna write like background color and it will be now set to like 0, 8, 0, 8, and 0, 9. Okay, so that's kind of a black color. And now let me just use like a background of linear gradient. And we are going to be using like a blue violet color, blue y blue violet color and RGB of like 82, comma 5, comma 154. Okay, so 15 and come on, let me just write 154. Alright, so that's that. And now the next thing which you have to do is to write a display of flex and flex direction will be set to column 
justify counter will be center align items will be set to center because you want everything to be perfectly centered so you want to write a 100 vh hideaway and font family will be now set to sensor so if we just save that and this is how currently things look like now the next thing which we have to do is to get our container which is this container right here so now what i'm going to do is then i'm going to just select my container give me width of like 80 80 percent and also let me just give him a height of like 600 pixel and the padding will be just like 20 pixel and color will be totally white okay and position will be also relative so now if you just save that and this is how it looks like now the next thing which you have to do is that we want to select all of these input and now let's just style that a bit so if you want to write input and now let's just give him a width of like 100 percent and also the padding will be just like 10 pixel and margin top we would have is like four pixel and margin bottom we would have is like 20 pixel and outline will be none border will be none so then we have a border radius and it will be now set to five pixels so now if you save that and this is how currently everything looks like so now let's just tile this area a bit so for that we are going to be selecting our table which we wrote right here let me just show you you want to select this table and now you want to style that so now let me just get my table in here and now let's just provide a background of like crimson you can choose whichever kind of color you like and now width will be totally 100 percent so now if you save that and this is how currently things looks like now let's just grab our table section which is this table section so which i'm going to do is that i'm going to just write like a table and then section and now let's just style that a bit so i'm going to write a display of flex and justify corner will be space around and also padding will be 10 pixels so save it and this is how currently things looks like and now I just realized that I miss one thing inside our HTML, which is underneath this section, we want to write our new section with the ID. Let me just write a section with the ID of book and list. So that's that. So we are going to be rendering our data in here as well. So for that, we are going to be selecting there first of all. So now let me just select there first of all. So I'm going to write like book and list, and it will be now equals to just write a display of flex in here. And then we have flex direction, and it will be now set to column list style now we want to just remove that and overflow will be totally hidden and then we have a word wrap and it will be now set to um not wrap but just uh, yeah breakwood would be fine and now let's just write a background color and now let's just set that to totally white and also the current uh, the color will be totally black all right so that's then now the next style which we are going to be doing is that we want to get our book list and inside this book list we want to get all of these sections so if you want to write a display of flex in here and you cannot see that right away because we are going to be using these classes once we jump right into a javascript so you cannot see that right away so align items will be totally center and text align now let's just use our center and justify content uh, we already use like justify content uh, you know what instead of space um, instead of center now let's just use like space around and use it right here okay so that's that now let's just write our border and bottom and border bottom now let's add like one pixel solid and ccc kind of grayish color and now let me give a padding of like 10 pixels so now if we save that we still cannot see that why did i forgot now let's just style our button right here so once we just click on it so now first of all let's just style that and then we are going to be providing our interactivity so now let's just get or button which is the class of button right here okay so now let's just add a like a background of a deep um, pink would be fine you can choose whichever color you like and now let's just remove the ugly border and also provide a totally white color as a text color and margin bottom will be now set to like 20 pixels and padding will be now top and bottom 10 pixel and left and right 20 pixel cursor will be totally pointed save it and this is how currently it looks like you can change the color if you want to like crimson uh crimson save it and this is not looking that much exciting <laughs> to be honest so that's why i choose like deep pink colors so save it and i guess that's looking fine and we are totally done with the ui for now like we are done with the html and also css and so now let's just get into our javascript and port or interactivity to it so the first thing i would do is i'll just get my title by using document.query uh or you know i'm going to use like get element by id of title Okay, so a lowercase title and now let me just get my author so i'm gonna write like a u t h o r um hmm. author it will be now equals to like document or query selector or you know i'm going to use like get element by id of author as well okay and also uh let's just change this one to const and also let me write like const here and here it will be now equals to document dot get element 
uh, by ID and it will be announced to year. Okay, so that's that. Now the next thing that you have to do is to get or book list. So cause book list will be now equals to document dot get element by ID of book and list. Oh no, you know what? It was like that. And finally, let's just get or button which is document dot query selector of BDN. So now let's just log everything to the console so that we make sure that we select everything. So author. Now the next thing we have is year, and also we have a book list. And finally, now let's just check what button. So now if we save that and open or um console log, so here you can see we get all of our input right here. Like we have a title, author, year. We have this book uh, list kind of section right here, which is empty for now, and which you're going to be rendering a data just in a second. And then we have this button right here. So everything is perfectly selected and everything is working the way we expect him to work. So now let's just attach event listener on this button first of all. So I'm gonna write like btn dot add event listener of just click. So once we click on this function, so I mean like once we click on that button, so we want to call this function right here, okay? So now let's just use like e dot prevent default, and now we want to just remove that pre um, default prevention. So like whenever we click on that button, so we don't want our browser to reload, so we don't want to waste our data. So now let's just check if tunnel that value is equal to just like empty string right here and um author dot value is also equals to empty string and finally let me just write it one more and and year dot value is also equal to empty string so what do we have to do we want to just alert to the user like uh, fill the form okay so that's that like let's suppose if i just click on this button so it will now give us like fill the form Okay, so if you just write something and if you just click on it, so it will not give us nothing. All right, so that's that. Now let's just check like else block. So if that's not true, then just jump to else block. And now let me just write first of all like a const new row and it will be now equals to document.create element. And now let's just create our section in it. Okay, so that's that. Now let's just create, let me just write a comment for myself, like creating, uh, creating new title. So title would be fine. So now let's just write like new title in here. And it will be now equals to document dot create element. And here we are going to be passing our div because we want to create a title. So for that we want to use our div. Now let me just hit a space in there. And now let's just write new title, new title dot inner HTML will be now equals to title dot value. Okay, so that's that. Now the next thing which you have to do is to get our new row and now append our child and new come on now let me just write new title okay so now if you just save that and we cannot see that right away or you know what if you just write something in it and if you click on it we cannot see that for now like let's suppose that we cannot see something for now because we just create a row uh, i mean like we just create a title and we don't have nothing inside that so that's creating a title now the next thing that you have to do is that just creating a uh, new author so to create a new author we are going to be writing like new author and it will be now equals to document dot create element and now inside that we are going to be also placing a div and new author author dot uh, inner html will be now equals to author dot value and now new let's just append that to a new row as well so append child of new author okay so that's them now the next thing which you have to do is to just write const new year and new year now let's just also write a comment here like creating a new year okay so like uppercase y all right so now let's just create our new year by just writing create element and now inside that we are going to be placing our div so new year um dot inner html will be now equals to year dot value okay so let me just place a space in there and finally not finally but we still have one line of code so now let me just write like new row dot append child of new year so finally now let's just get our book list and now append child of new row so now if you just save that and if you just write something like book name will be like um i don't know everything is uh you get the idea okay <laughs> and an author is like mark manson and uh i don't know which kind of year was that i've read it in 2000 i guess 20 i don't know i'm not sure so if you just click on that so everything is uh, uh and then by mark manson and then we have a uh, year of 2022 if you want to add like uh, one more year i mean like if you want to add one more book so for that we can just write like 
uh the subtle art or no that's not a good book um atomic habits is also a good one um uh, by whom i don't know i also don't know the year in which it was published so now let me just write like 2011 would be fine and i'm not exactly sure but i'm just trying uh, writing like a random video if you just click on it it's gonna fill up uh all of this space right here so if you just refresh then now let's just for a new book like uh i don't know <laughs> was that no not was that whatever uh uh next level javascript and by the way i didn't wrote any books but now let's suppose if i just wrote a book called like next level javascript with uh Hussein web dev and the year will be like 2023 or 24 will <laughs> be fine and if i submit that so everything is working the way we expect him to work so this is what i want to show you in this video so i think that was about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.